Well, as people are in downtown Savannah still celebrating right now, firefighters are ready for any emergencies. Camille Sayan joins us from an emergency response center. And Camille, what has the day been like for the fire department as they look at the crowds? Hey there, Mike. Quite a busy day for firefighters out here. They've been on foot. They've been riding around in these ATVs. And you can just take a look at some of the crowds here in City Market. Now, they say they haven't really been responding to any fire calls, just all medical calls as they're taking care of some very large and excited crowds. Pomp, the pageantry of St. Patrick's Day in Savannah. <laughs> There's nothing like it. Nothing like this crowd here to see this view. What's your favorite part? The bagpipes. Yeah. That, that's the main reason I come down here, just to hear the bagpipes. And hours before, while folks were getting their spots in squares to see the parade. 5 a.m. for the tent. I got here 5 a.m. Steven Sokolowski says Savannah firefighters were looking around downtown, making sure there were no explosives or threats in the area. And look through the whole parade route. And we also look on the river. So as a boat company, we went down there and escorted them along the river to make sure that there were no threats that could be there. This day is always an exciting time for local people like Christella Snyder, who have been coming here for decades. I love being at this party. And I love all the people. Oh my God, it's so great to have them here. But the more people, the more alert first responders have to be in downtown all the way to the river. We have boat crew. We go down there on the boat and we're watching that, make sure no one goes in the river. Uh, and then we also have a lot of units also dispersed in different areas while foot traffic can go ahead and hamper our response with vehicles. Their watch continues heavily in City Market and River Street as the night goes on. He says they don't usually have to fight fires on the holiday. Instead, they work closely with Chatham Emergency Services. CES says the majority of their calls have been for people unconscious, and he expects tonight to be a busy one. A lot of medical issues are usually things that happen. Uh, people have a little bit too much fun. We deal with those medical issues. Sometimes because of that, they can fall. Uh, issues like that are the main things. We don't have too many fire alarms or fires going on during the parade time. He encourages people to remember their safety and the safety of others so everyone can have a Happy, happy Safe Betty! While they had a busy day, they said they will not be letting up as festivities continue this weekend. I did get an update from Chatham EMS. They say they transported nearly 30 people to the hot or been called out for nearly 30 people so far. So for now, live in City Market, Camille Syed, WTOC News.